I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about quercetin as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, including for the taming the symptoms of COVID-19, the science behind it, the dosage, and side effects. Quercetin is one of the most abundant flavonoids present in over 20 plant and fruit categories. Quercetin is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. It's used to lower blood pressure, control obesity, lower cholesterol, and protect against heart attacks and stroke. The name quercetin comes from the Latin word quercetum, which means oak forest. Quercetin is yellow in color and is poorly soluble in hot or cold water, but it's easily soluble in alcohol and fats. Quercetin cannot be produced in your body and must be obtained from food or as a supplement. It can be found in citrus fruits, green leafy vegetables, seeds, buckwheat, nuts, flowers, broccoli, olive oil, apples, onions, green tea, red grapes, red wine, black cherries, and berries. Quercetin is one of the most popularly used bioflavonoids in the treatment of metabolic and inflammatory disorders. Hundreds of in vitro and animal studies and a few human studies have been conducted to study the effects of quercetin. Research shows its antioxidant properties are potent enough to treat infections, neurodegeneration, and even certain types of cancer. Quercetin has recently been found to be beneficial in reducing the symptoms of COVID-19. A Chinese study showed that quercetin bound with the spike protein in the coronavirus, reducing its ability to infect cells. Quercetin boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, for neuroprotection. Several in vitro studies show that quercetin is a potent antioxidant and is capable of scavenging free radicals and protecting the brain from the damage caused by oxidative stress. Quercetin's antioxidant property is mainly due to its effect on glutathione, enzymatic activity and reactive oxygen species caused by, other, by environmental factors and other toxins. And second, it improves memory. Due to its ability to scavenge free radicals, quercetin has the potential to reverse cognitive deficits and may improve memory. One animal study using mice showed that increased learning and memory in mice who were administered quercetin with no improvement in the control animals. Quercetin has the unique ability to increase Claudin-4, which seals tight junctions in sealing a leaky gut or leaky blood-brain barrier. Quercetin is a potent antioxidant and may protect your brain from oxidative stress. In 2014, scientists administered quercetin to rats within 48 hours of the animal suffering a brain edema. The studies show that high dose of quercetin administered 48 hours after the stroke helped reverse neurobehavioral deficits that were the result of a brain edema, which is swelling due to a fluid buildup including a significant reduction in oxidative stress and a reduction in cellular apoptosis. Quercetin protects the brain against toxins by activating the brain's natural immune system. Another study in 2013 was conducted to deduce the effect of quercetin on lead toxicity. And it showed that quercetin significantly prevented lead-induced neurotoxicity and oxidative stress. And studies with animals also demonstrated quercetin's ability to help preserve brain activity in neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. These studies show that quercetin has a therapeutic potential because it can inhibit AB aggregation and tau tangles, and it inhibits acetylcholine esterase, which in turn increases acetylcholine, acetylcholine levels. Quercetin may also boost testosterone levels. Is an enzyme that converts testosterone into testosterone glucuronide, which is then excreted out of your body and through urine. Quercetin has been shown to inhibit this enzyme activity as much as 
according to lab studies, which means that supplementing with quercetin as a nootropic may slow down its excretion and boost the levels of testosterone in your blood. Quercetin also inhibits aromatase, which is the enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. Some of the most recent comments by quercetin users report a significant reduction in COVID-19 symptoms. Those infected with the virus reported using quercetin with vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. Their breathing was easier, and this combination helped them recover faster. And this is beginning to be backed by clinical studies as well. Many neurohackers using quercetin report a dramatic improvement in seasonal allergy symptoms. Others claim quercetin helps reduce muscle soreness after a workout and arthritis pain is reduced. Many people said using quercetin consistently reduced their cold symptoms faster. Some suffering from allergies say that quercetin is a great alternative to antihistamines without the drowsy side effects caused by these drugs. Overall, quercetin users said that they were able to breathe easier, they experienced less pain, and they had more power and stamina. I've got more research on quercetin over on the original transcript for this video on Nootropics Expert. Just click on the link below this video and it'll take you to the transcript. I've got a study that shows quercetin improves athletic performance. I've got another study that shows quercetin reduces oxidative stress. I've got another study on how quercetin reduces inflammation. And another study that I'm going to detail here, quercetin for COVID-19. Although the research is limited, the few studies that are present on quercetin's ability to reduce the symptoms of the novel coronavirus indicate that it has a significant capability to interfere with the replication of the virus. Quercetin exhibits a wide range of antiviral properties which can intervene in, in every step of the, from the virus entry to its replication to protein assembly. The impact of quercetin can further enhance through co-administration with vitamin C and zinc. The recommended nootropic dosage for quercetin is 500 milligrams up to twice per day. Quercetin dosages of 1,000 milligrams and on the advice of your doctor up to 3,000 milligrams per day to reduce COVID-19 symptoms. And note that this is a short-term use only strategy when you use it at elevated dosages. Your daily intake of quercetin from food in a typical Western diet is estimated somewhere between 0 and 30 milligrams per day. So you're not getting much from food. Quercetin as a supplement has low bioavailability, so it, which means that it does not easily cross the intestinal wall. Poor bioavailability is why many quercetin supplements include other compounds like vitamin C, bromelain, and other digestive enzymes to help boost absorption. A more recent development shows that increased absorption of quercetin when attached to a phospholipid complex made from lecithin called, lecithin called Phytosome. Quercetin phytosome, which is patented, has been shown to be 20 times more bioavailable than quercetin on its own. Research also shows quercetin has a synergistic effect when combined with other flavonoid supplements such as resveratrol and catechins. Quercetin is non-toxic and is considered well tolerant and safe when used at recommended dosages. Supplementing with more than 1,000 milligrams of, of quercetin per day may lead to symptoms like stomach aches, headaches, and tingling sensations. So talk to your doctor before taking the supplement if you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding. And quercetin inhibits aromatase. So if you're being treated for breast cancer, talk to your doctor before supplementing with quercetin. And animal studies show that high doses of quercetin can have a negative effect on sperm quality and sperm counts in males, but only coupled with elevated oxidative stress. Now, this hasn't been proven in humans, but it's worth keeping in mind if you're having fertility problems. 
quercetin can thin your blood, so it may interfere or amplify the effects of blood thinning medications. And there is some evidence that quercetin could interfere with transplant anti-rejection drugs. Now, we have no clinical proof that quercetin is safe for use longer than 12 weeks. The safe of long-term use of the supplement is unknown. Quercetin as a nootropic is available in capsules and bags of powder. You'll see several brands offering quercetin with bromelain because adding a digestive enzyme helps its bioavailability. And the latest with quercetin is quercetin phytosome, which is quercetin combined with lecithin-derived phospholipids from sunflower to cross the gut barrier more easily. And my preferred form of quercetin and the supplement that we use in this household is from Doublewood Supplements. It's Doublewood Supplements Quercetin with Bromelain. So my nootropic expert recommendation for quercetin is 500 milligrams up to twice a day. And that's my report on quercetin. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for quercetin.